Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. Today we're going to go over one of our favorite features in the Google Apps Admin Console and that's the Chrome Browser Management Tools. So with this new Admin Console there's also some additional features in terms of Chrome Browser Management and our favorite feature is the ability to pre-install apps and extensions from the Chrome Web Store along with being able to block certain apps and extensions or block all apps and extensions if that's what you want. So to do this we'll go to the Google Apps Admin Console so you can click on the settings gear in your Gmail inbox or you can go to the admin URL. So I'll go to manage this domain. So from here in the new Google Apps Admin Console I'm going to click on other Google services and then Chrome management. You can see here that the status of my Chrome management is on for everyone. Um, just something to keep in mind is that in order to enable certain apps and extensions, you'll need to make sure the Chrome Web Store is on for everyone as well. But let's go into Chrome Management and check that out. We'll go into User Settings. So one of the great features about this is the ability to set these policies at the domain level or at the org unit level. So if I wanted to go into these different organizational units, I could set different policies and pre-install different apps for my different sets of users. I'm just going to do this at the domain level for now, considering that Google Guru is a pretty small organization, so I can set the same apps and extensions for everyone in my organization. So if we scroll down here to the allowed apps and extensions, this is set to allow all apps and extensions except the ones that I block by default. Now, on the other hand, you could set this to block all apps and extensions except the ones that I allow. So this would allow you to give your user some pre-installed apps and extensions while not allowing them to install any others. So if you have some pretty strict policies at your organization and you don't want your users installing anything other than what you want them to, this is the setting that I recommend. So I'm going to go with block all apps and extensions except the ones that I allow. And then we'll go to this pre-installed apps and extensions section and click the link to manage pre-installed apps. So from here you can go into the Chrome Web Store and just decide for yourself which apps you want. You could also access domain apps that you may have created for the Chrome browser yourself. Or you can look into these two business apps and business extensions section. So if we open those up, you'll see a list of these certain apps that Google has defined as useful for business customers. So I, I can't be certain, but I think that since this is a Google Apps for Business domain, it is giving me these business apps recommendations. And if you are a Google Apps for Education domain, you will probably get suggestions for education apps. So a few of these are obviously pretty important. So I'm going to add Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Gmail Offline, and this lucid chart tool which is a great diagramming and project planning tool so I'll add that as well and then click save and then I'll go back in here and check out some of these business extensions so obviously these are a little bit different these will appear in the top of your Chrome browser rather than in the in a new tab so one of my favorites is this save to Google Drive extension so this is great if you're using a Chromebook or something like that where you don't have local storage and you can just click to save to Google Drive. Also, if you're just trying to encourage your users to start using Drive as their default storage, then having this option here really makes adopting that process a lot easier. So I'll add that and then I'll click save. Now if I go down here to this pinned apps and extensions section, I can actually choose which apps or extensions to pin to the Chrome launcher after they are installed. So this will actually ensure that these apps and extensions appear in my users Chrome browsers when they launch their uh, when they launch Chrome on their computers. So I'll click manage pinned apps and then I'll just go in and select the apps that I picked earlier. So Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Offline, Lucidchart, Save, and then the save to Google Drive extension. So I'll save those and then go down here to the bottom and save my changes. So that's how you manage Chrome extensions and apps for your organization. This is just a really easy tool to encourage adoption of the 
all these different great features in the Chrome browser, along with just providing some great functionality for your organization. So if you guys have any questions about the Chrome Web Store or Chrome extensions or anything like that, please leave us a comment in the section below or ask us on Google+. Thanks.